I want to make a little uh, review or overview of this uh, new shotgun I picked up. It's a Shelby Firearms Code X is the name of the gun. I picked this up recently um, from a store in, in Quebec and they had uh, a clearance sale on all these Shelby Firearms shotguns and they were under $200. Um, so I just wanted to give a preview of it. This gun is a, a Turkish made shotgun and it's um, <clears throat> it has a 14 inch barrel and the typical five round magazine and the way these Turkish guns are I think they're all manufactured from the same place but different places will have uh, different manufacturer names different model names and numbers and things like that this particular gun it, it says it's made by Shelby firearms but you can see the serial number is number two so I'm guessing some importer had the serial number put on it and the model is code X um, this gun has the the telescoping folding stock which is actually really it's really uh, useful it actually functions pretty good you can have it um, fully extended like this or there's a button right here it's only um, functions from the one side you have to push it and then in order to fold it you just push this button here and uh, It folds up just like that into a pretty compact package. This gun has the uh, the 14 inch barrel so so this stock is uh, allowed to be folded. This gives it just enough length to um, to make it legal to um, to be folded or if you remove the stock altogether it would be okay to have this for a pistol grip because the overall length reaches i believe it's 27 inches is the uh is the proper length um, some of the other features are this front sight is a as a metal post the bore is it's chrome line um but it's just um a straight cylinder choke it's not for choke or it doesn't have choke tubes or anything like that the forend has this uh, little rail on it and um, the forend is kind of uh, it feels really kind of plasticky and, and cheap but where it attaches to the um, to the action bars in here it's actually reinforced with metal so it's actually not that bad and uh, it is uh, quite functional I like having the extra um, length down here to put your hand the follower this is one of the really nice features too is the follower is anodized red you can see in there um, I know some people are big on the uh, high visibility followers and this definitely it contrasts the black pretty good so um, that's a nice feature to have the buttstock also has an interesting feature on the the recoil pad it's set up definitely for um, a right-handed shooter if you notice it sort of has a sunk in sections so that it goes right into your uh, like your armpit area on your chest like it just welds right in there well it's very much for a right-handed shooter but I like that feature that I've never seen that on any other shotguns before uh, and it's it's nice to have that on there um, there's really no drawbacks to this gun especially because of the price the the um the price is just so excellent on this gun but the only area of concern i have is this piece right here which is like i would call that piece like a nosebleed special because if you have the stock completely folded like this or um the telescoping at its minimal spot here 
the um, your nose is almost touching this piece right here and uh, I highly recommend not shooting it like that because that's just um, uh, that's just a accident waiting to happen uh, it's no big deal if you if you pull the stock out and uh, use it at its proper length it it, it shouldn't um, it shouldn't bother you or interfere anything but that's the only piece I can really criticize about this gun everything else works on it the um, the little uh, the safety works good and it's audible it snaps in the action release is perfectly fine the other piece that I kind of have a negativity is the magazine tube it's actually closed off like this so you can't put a magazine tube extension on it without modifying or cutting off some threads it also makes it hard to get the spring and everything out of the magazine tube um, that I mean you don't have to add a magazine extension to this gun because of how short it is but on other models of this shotgun I'm not sure if they it's just something if you get a longer barrel one and it has a short magazine you might not be able to modify it to um, accept more rounds so that's just something I thought I would point out so before I get buried here in the snow I just want to point out that the Montreal uh, Firearm Center uh, where I got these on sale they had a, a few different models. I got this particular one, the 14 inch barrel one, but they had one with a 12 inch barrel. They also had an 18 inch barrel. They had a couple semi-automatic variants and um, they were at blowout prices as of this video. I don't know if they'll be getting any more in the future. I, I highly doubt it because I've never even heard of Shelby firearms before, but these guns are, they're just like all the other Turkish manufactured guns that are available like they go under the brand of um, Canuck in Canada and at Revolution Armory even though Revolution Armory is a little higher end of a thing but they're all Turkish made and they seem to be excellent quality so um, if you're looking for one of these you might try the, the Montreal Firearms Center so that's about it for now so thank you for watching i should also mention when you buy this it comes in a, a hard case like these typical turkish um, hard cases which usually only come with the semi-automatic guns and um, it's a really nice case but that's just um, that's how it comes shipped it also doesn't come with a manual or anything so i just thought i would mention that thank you